today, I want to talk specifically about sports team SVG files. I see people asking for them all the time. I'm a Minnesota girl, so you're going to see Minnesota stuff in my examples. So I just went to Google and typed in Minnesota Wild Logo SVG. And if I start here, I'm going to see some images. But remember, these are just images. Even if there is a real SVG file attached to this image, this that I'm looking at right here is just a preview image. Okay, how do you know if it's a real SVG file, Sean? I'll show you how. I'm actually going to click over to images and I'm going to start looking at some of the information. Okay, this preview image says SVG, PNGs. It also says in stock. That means this is something that the person is selling. Now, legally, they don't have a right to sell this. But since it does say it's coming in SVG format, if you want to go there and buy it, you can. I'm not going to stop you. Okay, so then I also found a place called Freebie Supply. If I go and right click to open that, at first I was like, oh, it's just the PNG files, which is an image file. But then I started scrolling and this is a transparent background, black and white. But then I saw this one, logo vector. So I did download it. Let's go to my downloads folder. Downloads. So I already downloaded the SVG file. I went on this and went extract all to extract the SVG file from the zipped folder. If you don't understand this, go to seanmosh.com, type in SVG. I have a whole tutorial just about what is an SVG, how to find it, how to unzip it, all that good stuff. Okay, so now if I go into this folder, I get the subfolder for the Minnesota Wild logo. I'll see that there is a PNG file in here, but look right here. This one says Microsoft Edge. It's got that little swirly icon, which if you follow me, you know I've taught you, that means it's a real SVG file. I can now upload this to my Cricut or any other crafting machine that you own that uses SVG files. And this is gonna come in all ready to cut. Let me show you. If I go to uploads and upload image and I browse back to my downloads folder and I go in here, you can see it uploaded that SVG file. It defaulted straight to a cut image. That's how I know it's an SVG file. I am going to click upload and add this to canvas. Okay, so the one bad thing, it came in with a black background. But what happens if I just delete that? Boom. It's gone. It's now ready to cut. I could even ungroup this. And let's see if I can get rid of that little, I don't really want that R there. So I think it's in this one. I could go contour. <laughs> And technically, really illegal kind of stuff because I'm now going to use an image and take off the thing that says it's trademarked. But there it is. So that's how I know it's an SVG file. It came in all ready to cut. Easy peasy. Just upload. If this would have been a PNG file, I would have had to tell the Cricut to save this portion as a cut file. I would have had to do that one, two, three, four times once for every color in this design. I've actually done this before in a tutorial called Cut or Print Then Cut. I'll link that in the video description below. And another one that I called Uploading Multiple Colored Images. I'll link that one too. So that's how you go and find an SVG file. 
Okay, let's go back here. I also had searched, um, let's see, Minnesota. Another one I had done was the Minnesota Vikings SVG file. You can see this is also on freebie um, supplies. So you could grab that there. But if you look at this third one in where it says file before it says anything else, that's how you know it's a real SVG file. So if I open that one in a new link, that goes to a Wikimedia Commons site. There it is, SVG file. I can download it right there. So one of the resources I'm showing you is the Wikimedia Commons. Once you go here, you could actually type in something that you're looking for. You can see it starts to show some different things. Let's go to let's see if we have a Minnesota Twins. There's all kinds of images here, but remember, I'm looking for SVG files. So if I go to file type and pull down and say SVG, now I'm only going to see the SVG files. And I am going to just do a little open in a new tab. So now I could download this Minnesota Twins, like the logo. And here's the full logo. To download those, I would just click download. And this is telling you that it's a the size of the SVG file there. So this is how you find true ready to cut SVG files and not just an image that you have to then convert or play around with and turn into a file that you can use to cut. Easy peasy, ready to download and use SVG files. Is there going to be one for every team out there? No. But I'm actually working on a blog post right now that's got a list of ones I'm finding and I'm linking directly to them for you. So make it nice and easy. Let me know if you have questions. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.